The national standards body within each country are working with their local committee to review the draft standard and collating all of the feedback. Here are the timings that you need to know. Early May 2014, the draft international standard known as the DIS will be published for ballot. February 2015, the final draft international standard known as FDIS is expected to be published for ballot. In September 2015, the international standard is then expected to be published. A three-year transition period for existing ISO 9001-2008 clients has already been agreed with the International Accreditation Forum, so existing clients will have until September 2018 to complete their transition. This means organisations will have a lot of time to familiarise themselves with the changes to the standard and then implement those changes in their quality management system. The average time to implement a management system is 6 to 12 months, so you have plenty of time throughout the transition period to implement the system. So the message is, don't delay your implementation project. We know that the standard will be revised in accordance with Annex SL, the new high-level structure that will feature in all management systems going forward, in order to provide core text, common terms and core definitions. This revised standard should Maintain the current focus on effective process management to produce desired outcomes. Take account of changes in management system practices and technology since the last major revision in 2000. Reflect changes in the increasing complex, demanding and dynamic environments in which the organisations operate. Facilitate effective organisational implementation and effective conformity assessment by first, second and third parties. And use simplified language and writing styles to aid understanding and consistent interpretations of its requirements. A procedure would define the activities in a silo perspective, whereas a process would define the inputs and expected outputs of the activity. Processes would also be classed as a high-level view, where procedures detail a step-by-step -step approach, although potentially not as detailed as a work instruction. A process approach would also put more emphasis on the skills, knowledge and competence of the individuals. For example, you do not need a procedure to drive a new car if you have already passed your driving test and have experience, you understand what the overall functions of the car can do, and you should be able to repeat those tasks on a regular basis without reading each page of the manual every time you wish to make a journey. BSI clients tell us that they achieve real benefits from certification to ISO 9001. Certification can help an organisation gain access to new markets. Prospective customers may require certification as a prerequisite to bid on contracts. The ISO 9001 certificate will differentiate an organisation from others in the marketplace and provide a competitive advantage. The certification mark demonstrates that an organisation continues to maintain quality processes through successful surveillance audits. This enhanced requirement is to ensure that there is alignment between the strategic objectives of the organisation and that of the quality policy. In turn, this should help with alignment with business strategy, key business objectives, performance and resource management. From now until the publication of the standard in 2015, BSI will be developing guidance to help you navigate your way through the revision and to ensure your quality management system stays compliant and robust. BSI will keep you up to date with the revision through webinars, emails and white papers. Anyone can register for priority updates by visiting the BSI website at bsigroup.com and visiting our ISO 9001 revision page.